Hi there, this is Robin from Token Terminal. Today we're going to take a closer look at the total value locked, so the TVL metric. So we at Token Terminal think that TVL is a bit of a misleading metric and I'll tell you why and what other metrics we think are more suitable to analyze the financial performance of different protocols. So what does total value locked measure? It measures the total value of funds locked in the protocol smart contracts. Let's use for instance Uniswap, Compound and MakerDAO as examples to highlight some of the shortcomings of TVL as an indicator of financial performance. For Uniswap, TVL equals the total value of assets that the liquidity providers deposit into the liquidity pools. This is because the trader always deposits the other assets when transacting with the pool. This means that total value locked equals the total deposits. By adding Uniswap V2 and V3 liquidity, so the deposits, we arrive at a figure at about $8 billion. In our view, a better way to measure Uniswap's performance would be to focus on trading volume and trading fees generated. As Uniswap V3 is a lot more capital efficient, a high TVL doesn't necessarily mean a lot of volume or trading fees generated. And then in the case of Compound, the total value locked equals the difference between total deposits and total borrows, since that is the amount of assets that are locked inside of their smart contracts. This is because a share of these deposits are then withdrawn from the markets as borrowers take out loans. So total value locked equals assets deposited minus assets borrowed. By calculating the difference between the total supply and the total borrow, we arrive at a figure approximately $8 billion. In our view, a better way to measure Compound's performance would be to look at the borrowing volume, so the outstanding debt, and the interest paid by the borrowers. A high TVL in a lending platform basically means that there are a lot of unproductive assets. But, of course, these assets work as a safety net for the protocol. In the case of MakerDAO, the total value locked equals the total value of assets that the borrowers deposit into the vaults. This is because the deposits are not withdrawn as MakerDAO creates the DAI that is then borrowed. This means that the total value locked equals the total deposits. By looking at the value of the assets deposited, we arrive at approximately $17 billion. In our view, a better way to measure MakerDAO's performance would be to focus on the borrowing volume, so the outstanding debt, or the interest paid by the borrowers. While total value locked is a useful technical metric to measure how much value is locked in a protocol smart contract, it doesn't necessarily tell an investor how a protocol is performing financially. I hope this shed some light on how TVL could differ from project to project. Remember to keep this in mind when doing our own analysis. See you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and consider joining our community on Discord where you can chat with both our team and other community members. You can find the link to this and all of our other socials in the description.